Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and of course, Microsoft tries different way to um, different ways to have you do what they want, including, of course, connecting to a Microsoft account. If you have installed Windows 10 or Windows 11 without a Microsoft account, you will soon be getting in the Settings app a little line below the top here where you have information about your connectivity and so on and your uh, PC, there will be a line that will be added that's going to say, oh, you should sign in to your Microsoft account and there will be a sign in button. It's not a full page ad or anything, but it will actually be there apparently all the time just to tell you that you're not connected to a Microsoft account. So uh, this is another way of uh, having them try to lure you into the Microsoft account. I know a lot of people just don't want to be there. Um, I personally don't care because I actually like the fact that everything syncs and all the features that it provides me, including sharing of tabs within Edge on different machines. But, you know, some people don't want to, and uh, they should be allowed to not be there if they don't want to. Um, so it's just going to be a line, but still, you know, it's Microsoft adding little tidbits here and there to try to nag you into you're not doing things the way they wish they should be done. And uh, so this is coming. It's apparently appearing on some insider machines and eventually will probably make it to the, uh, to the uh, mainstream Windows 10 and 11. Uh, once again, the advantages of having a Microsoft account is that a lot of features that are within Windows will, of course, be syncing between machines. So when you have more than one PC, it's actually um, a, a very interesting thing because it does um, make everything shared between PCs. In the case where you have only one PC, that's where, um, honestly, a Microsoft account isn't that necessary. It will do one thing, though, that is and could be very useful for some. It's the fact that if you have only one PC, you sign in, all your personal preferences and will be, of course, synced to the cloud, which means if you would reinstall Windows from scratch, if you do sign in to a Microsoft account, well, there's a lot of your preferences that will be coming back. Uh, your Microsoft Edge, for example, will have all of the uh, bookmarks coming back and so on. So there are advantages, uh, but once again, there are people that just don't want to have to deal with a Microsoft account. And uh, once again, you know, that should be something that should be easy to do. And it should be also something that you can avoid if you want uh, at to install or startup of a new Windows machine. Um, you know, I, these are all little measures when you take into account that if Microsoft would play nice, give you the choice, would probably change a lot of the um, you know, the, the, the idea behind a lot of people that Microsoft isn't fair and that uh, we shouldn't be trusted. Uh, and fortunately, I, I don't know, somebody somewhere is not seeing this. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.